Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Must Watch Tips. So today I'm going to show how to make this corrosal effect. Presentation like this is really very really helpful when you are going to show some pictures in the amazing way like this. And you can show these pictures in finite number of times. So let's not waste time and get into the video quickly. So first of all, let us let us take one blank presentation and let me remove this or so basically we want to start with a blank presentation and the very first step is to add photo. But before that, go to view and tick this grid lines and guides. So it will help in arranging the photos wherever you want. And now let's insert the pictures. So I've already downloaded pictures and let me take five of them now all the pictures are here let me move aside and crop one of them so let me take this one now for better clarification let me just untick the grid lines for now and we'll go to picture format and crop first we will crop in the ratio of 1 gem 1 And now again we'll go to crop, crop to shape and then we'll crop it to circle. We can arrange it a bit. And now this picture is ready. So after cropping this picture we will go to picture effects and we want shadow. So we'll take uh, the direction of the shadow like this one and again go to format picture go to shadow transparency as around 75 percent go to size as a bit more of 105 we'll have blur more so we'll increase the blur and the distance is okay so we'll it make it as zero for now perfect so this one image is ready for us now let us take this image aside and do that same process for all the five images and now all five of our images are ready so it's time to arrange them But first of all, let us add one more effect. Go to picture format effects. We will. I'll apply this one. So the next step is to resize them in different sizes as we have in this one. So first of all, let us make this one as in the center and this is around 13 uh, a bit smaller 12 yes so let us make this as 12 centimeter and these two we want to make it as 9 perfect this also as a 9 And these two at the ends will make it will make them as seven or probably six. Post this, let us add some transparency effect. The images which are behind the first image so we'll go to picture format and in corrections we will apply 
contrast minus 40 percent so that it becomes a bit dull same with this image which is opposite to this image go to correction and apply this minus 40 percent contrast and the images which are at the end will apply minus 40 contrast minus 40 brightness same with this one perfect so we are ready with the images and the transparency effect now let us add headings of this images so i'll go to insert text box or let's say it is picture one Now let me duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and place this over this image. Also press Ctrl D and place this over here. Now let's make this two texts smaller a bit. And now let us not highlight other text boxes apart from picture 1. So we will uh, reduce the transparency of picture 5, picture 2, picture 3 and 4. So it will not highlight much. So now after this, let's make one more thing. Which is the slider at the bottom, this one. So what we will do is, we will go to insert shape and we will take this one, make a slider over here like this with no outline. So this is currently and let us make this shape be less black. Now let me add 5 of them, place it here, and for this 4, let us fill it by lighter color, like this, so our first slide is done. So now our first slide is completed. Now let us duplicate this slide and in the second one what we will do is we will change picture 1 to 2, 2 with 3, 3 with 4, 4 with 5 and 5 with 1. Perfect. Now you must have guessed what I need to do next. Yes, swapping the images. So I'll press Ctrl D for this one. Now I need this image in place of this. So I'll go to this, hover over this image, press Ctrl Shift and then slide it down until it becomes the size we want. And now I'll go to Selection tab. I'll select picture 14 and move this picture here but before that let me move this to here and let me just make this smaller delete the one in back I'll choose that let me bring this to front resize this and put it over here this is picture 10 so let me delete picture 12 and I'll place it over here, make it as big as we want. Let's delete picture 4. So now you can see that this picture 1 
was in the center and now picture one has gone to the left side and similarly for all the images now this one has come in the center picture 4 has gone to right side and picture 3 is been moved to left side to here now uh, what need to what needs to be changed we have changed the name of the picture we haven't changed this one now we would like to highlight this so we'll copy format of this one and copy it here and for this we will copy and paste it in the center one so this black one is moved to the right one now one last thing to update in this slide number two is the transparency effects so we'll make this picture as normal as it was earlier we'll choose this for this two for this one let us go to picture format corrections and we'll apply minus 40 percent contrast as in this as well let's say minus 40 percent and the images at the end side we will say minus 40 contrast minus 40 brightness so now we have completed this slide number one and slide number two and in similar way you can duplicate this and make changes in slide number three as we did in slide number two and you can make five slides as we have included five images in this first slide and when you complete all the five slides, select all the slides, go to transition and apply more transition. And you can play with this duration. So I have kept it as one and apply to all. And to make these images roll over and over again, we'll go to slideshow. Setup slideshow button is there in the setup one. We'll click on this. And here you, here you can see that there is an option of loop continuously until escape. We'll click on this button and press OK. So now, when we do slide show, the presentation will be looped from slide number 1 to slide number 5. And then again it will move to slide number 1. So it will be in the loop until we press escape. So, it, so after completing 5 slides, your presentation will look like this. You will have 5 slides where... In the slide number one there will be picture one in the center of it in slide number two there will be picture two and similarly in slide number five the picture five will be in the center and when you go to slide so i have just tick this loop until loop continuously until escape and i have set the transition to 0.75 seconds so let's see what we have prepared So that's all for this video. I hope you have learned a lot and taken away many things from this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing this channel and share it with your friends. Till then, goodbye.